Another issue facing the city, violence in and around city schools as students return to the classroom. Less than a week ago, a 12-year-old was shot at a Dunbar High School football game. And just this afternoon, a gun was recovered from an 8th grader at Cherry Hill Elementary Middle School. These children are getting hurt behind senseless acts of children. This afternoon, a school let out and has reaction tonight from parents. What? At Cherry Hill Elementary Middle School today. This is bad. This is really bad. I have a child that go to the school. Parents in disbelief after Fox 45 showed them this picture of a gun found inside the school. I don't even understand in an elementary school right. how do these things even happen. Baltimore City Schools confirming the gun was found on an eighth grader and the school was temporarily put on lockdown. According to the district, parents were notified. I didn't hear about anything. But Fox 45 spoke with several parents who say they knew nothing about it. We usually hear about things, but this, this is not, that's not, that's a whole gun. And according to this parent, who didn't want her face shown, the school year already off to a violent start at Cherry Hill Elementary Middle. My child came home from school and he said, my two girls got into a fight already. I said, really? All right, school just started. By them getting into fights, it's going to lead to something else. And now a week, a couple days later, a guy. This past Friday, just outside Dunbar High School's football game, gunshots left players and spectators scrambling for cover. We will not allow this to turn into with something that we're going to be bashing Dunbar High School. While Mayor Brandon Scott saying the shooting had nothing to do with the school. And you got kids running around shooting at each other at a football game. The private security who chased the shooter, describing him as a child. Last year, at least a dozen guns were found in Baltimore City schools, including one at Merville High School in February. That student, 17 at the time, now 18-year-old Tristan Jackson, charged in the Brooklyn Day mass shooting. I hope this never happens again. That's all I'm hoping for. And no kids got get hurt or got hurt. My child could have been in that classroom. It was Vincent Hill reporting. Now, we've heard from prosecutors across the state saying their hands are tied when it comes to holding young, young offenders accountable. They point to the Juvenile Justice Laws and the Juvenile Offender Act and Child Interrogation Act. One week from today, state lawmakers will meet to discuss juvenile crime. It's not a special session, and lawmakers won't be able to enact any new laws or change existing ones. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.